How you doing, man? Nice to Dang. Nigga, dang. Golly. You got a grip on you, don't you? Hmm. I like that. The word known as op is anyone in competition or against you. You can typically find the word used in any rap song referring to their opponent as this quote-unquote op. No one knows how it got popular. The word itself originates originally from Chicago. And let's be honest, nothing good originates from Chicago other than Chief Keep. I mean, this video right here should be the deterrent of anyone ever wanting to go there. Uh, hey, does anyone want to come over to my house and- Oh, I forgot! You can't! You can't come to my house because no one can ever come to my house because I live in a middle place between world and time! I'm just kidding, guys. I live in the old city of Chicago. Me, my life. And the comments just prove the average mind of a Chicago citizen. I just know what's gripping. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, hey, see, you're walling, bro. That nigga said, I just know what's gripping. Nah. Gripping like a new wall outlet. The old grip of 87. Sadly, they're still the most sane people from Chicago. So in this video, I want to cover the biggest ops in fiction and really just human history. Niggas that had a target on them at all times due to their actions. I'll try my best not to spoil a lot about the characters, but if you really just don't want to be spoiled, skip the segment. Now, we'll first start off with talking about Swiper. I feel like everyone knows Dora at this point, so it's a good thing to start off with. This man, Swiper, was the absolute definition of an op. No matter how many times he got- Nah, no, no, no. Actually, was he really an op? though because there's a conspiracy theory theory right where swiper all he want to do is get his boots back boots stole his boots all right he stole his boots bro i really feel like i read i seen somewhere i seen somewhere all he want is, is his boots back that's all he want is he really the bad guy they make him out to be he's really not the real bad guy is is that that monkey that the monkeys uh, Hey. He got ran off by the plug, aka Dora. He would still come back for some more action. We would see this man in every goddamn episode of Dora trying to hit a lick on Dora and Boots for the most random miscellaneous items they had. I never want anyone to hate me as bad as Swiper hates Dora. This man always knew where Dora was no matter the location. She gotta turn off her Find My iPhone location or something. It could be the forest and he was there somehow. The beach and he was there somehow. The desert and he was there somehow. Bro even popped out in the live action movie. <clears throat> Speaking of the live action movie. Now look, I usually don't have celebrity crushes or anything like that. But the actress for full grown Dora? That God damn! She can take my soul and ruin my life. Be me tell Pope and I'll still be blessed in life. <clears throat> Moving back to the video though. I mean, what type of menace do you have to be to rob a seven-year-old girl every day? Like, bro, go find something else to do with your life. I mean, I like robbing kids too, but it gets boring after a while. Uh -huh. I just know for a fact Swiper's on EDP timing. Because there ain't no way he's just obsessed with this little girl every single day. Like, bro, look what he just stole. You're telling me he couldn't find a cookie anywhere else? Swiper, she- that is that's true that's true he really just stole a singular cookie from his this child but blame her parents bro why she outside she's seven years old bro she haven't went to school yet like i've never seen an episode where she's in school her parents like what, what is what is her parents doing you know letting letting this child go out into the jungle with a monkey every day like it really don't it don't add up man it does not add up he's an eight-year-old girl just let her eat the fucking cookie but something that really pissed me off in this show is how 99 percent of the time whenever swiper wants to go swipe something all dora had to say to stop him is swiper no swiping swiper no swiping swiper no swiping then all of a sudden on the third time of her saying it he just decides oh, it's a good time man. to be a model citizen and walks away from it watching this as a kid it made no sense to me i mean it's not like she had any blades or straps on her all she's doing is putting her hands up and telling you to stop like bro come on everyone knows no means yes homie you're a full-grown fox with a do-rag on and you're telling me you're scared of a seven-year-old girl with a noggin shaped like hey arnold just tear her head off and take the shiz that's why i was always happy whenever he successfully swiped something and my mom always thought there was something wrong with me whenever i cheered when he swiped something like nah i was just happy seeing him win when he did now the next op i want to talk about is thanos another person that everyone knows about now due to fortnite it's like how fortnite mm. put on this other show called dragon balls i think or something i never heard of it until fortnite to be honest but anyways i love thanos i still think to this day that thanos was never wrong i mean when you really think i think a lot of people go on agree with this you know thanos was never the bad guy honestly he just wanted to help people really he just like hey take take half the people away you know lead the rest you know what i mean more 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 food for y'all more all this for y'all but honestly i don't really see a problem with it think of it what was his goal at the end of the day his final goal was to get rid of the universe and make a new one that will always be grateful for what they have am i going to 100 percent die Yes. But it's for the greater good. I mean, come on. Seeing society now just makes me dwell on this decision still. Taking one scroll on Twitter should make anyone want to side with Thanos. Just imagine a world without Twitter. You're telling me you wouldn't want to live there? Also, Thanos does not get given enough credit for how many times he clutched himself. First, he had Loki come for him. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Then the Hulk. Bop. Then his own daughter. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Then the rest of the Avengers and extra people. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Like, bro, after all that, he still managed to erase half of humanity in Infinity War. This is what you call a top up. Someone who so many people hate and are an enemy of, but they still succeed in life. They gotta shove their image everywhere down your throat because you can't escape them. Moving on to the next hop we got is Candace from Phineas and Ferb. Now, I've already expressed my disdain for Candace in my Cartoon Sims video, so I'll simply express oh my, my opinions God, on her in a calm boring. manner once again. Candace is a stupid ass bitch. I still don't like her ass. This is the first person in this video that truly has me heated. I've never seen someone so opposed to just shutting the hell up until I saw Candace. Like, the amount of L's Candace has taken in her life is kind of wild. First off, she literally has no type of friends. Like, why do you guys think we. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is it wrong that I had a crush on um, her friend when I was younger? We saw Stacy and her together because that was the only actual proof of a friend she ever had. They had to plaster Stacy in every single scene just so we could believe that Candace had some type of friend. Second off, she was so obsessed with spying on this man Jeremy. If this was a man spying on a girl, then he would be in jail, showing up to his job to take photos of him, sleeping next to a picture of him, and even making a jello figure of him. I mean, what type of double standards are these? But all of a sudden, it's bad when I sit outside of my crush's house at night to make sure she's sleeping okay and steal some of her hair follicles so I could have some of her DNA. It's unfair. Also, imagine being Phineas and Ferb, practically being the smartest humans who have ever existed building the best inventions humanity has ever laid eyes on at 10 years old a teleportation device to take you anywhere a hyper realistic virtual world to live in a time machine to take you at any time in the future and past only for your sister to be jealous and try to snitch on you like do you have anything else better to do you are literally 15 years old candace just do normal things a 15 year old girl will do nowadays like what do 15 year old girls do nowadays i don't know post a picture on your instagram account saying andrew tate's a misogynist or something but i think who's actually a worse hop than candace is Phineas and ferb's mom because although candace failed to snitch 99.9 percent .9 of the time the one time she actually she did successfully snitch and their mom found out she immediately sent them to a military reform school like if like you seen your kids out there making roller coasters and stuff like that you know what i mean I, I feel some type of way too i'm not gonna lie to you but send them to a reform school i don't i don't think that was the best idea like you know how much money they can make niggas making teleporters time time machines and all this 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 show like this show really makes no sense bro if i walked into any of my kids building any of these amazing inventions in my backyard at that that barely has any space i would be proud as hell but no she had to get worked up and sent them away to some random ass school i mean i just gotta feel bad for Phineas and ferb at this point if i had that type of intellect at 10 years old i am not listening to anybody mom could just catch these bullets at that point now the next stop i want to move on to is someone who i can fully relate to in every single way of their being homelander with a name like homelander I oh yeah really thought hey, if you ain't watch the voice Man, go watch the boys, bro. Homelander, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's my nigga. Yeah, he can be a op. I don't care. He cool, bro. He he just a villain, bro. And I like that. And I like that. I thought he was going to be a trash ass character. But oh boy, was I wrong. This man is the top op of literally everyone in this universe. He moves strings in the show like a puppet master that's been doing it for years. I can't remember a time where this man truthfully has had a relationship with someone and kept it stable the entire time with them. He's always on the verge of going insane over some little mundane action happening in life. I mean, what type of person do you know that came to save someone who's going to not alive themselves? made them successfully not want to anymore and still made them jump off a building man is out of his mind also there was that time bro literally almost killed a train over him getting some shake shack like what if i wanted some shake shack am i dead now but that's what makes a villain good if a villain doesn't have a list of crimes the size of a thousand page book report then i don't want to hear it the only l he really took in the entire show is falling for stormfront's musty ass this show just kind of proved yeah. i can still never trust any woman with this type of hair anyways the next hop we got is none other than green goblin you can't tell me that willem dafoe was not made for this role everything down from the trip to the acting was absolutely perfected and no offense but his face kind of looks like a goblin so it works out but man green goblin was an absolute menace his whole personality was literally just built on being a menace like what seriously gave this man the audacity to just start killing people? nah i ain't gonna lie to you bro he, bro he is an op boy he is probably at the top he probably he's up here he's up here with it he bro he bombed spider-man's uh aunt's house bro aunt may aunt may he bombed <laughs> who know bro she was up there saying her prayers bro all you hear is boom, screaming, and they got laughing, bro. That's crazy. Nah, that nah, that that's disrespect. He's very disrespectful. Before Spider-Man No Way Home came out, I remember I decided to catch up on all the movies. And when watching the OG Spider-Man movie, there was just so many scenes that were wild. I remember specifically watching when he invaded the festival with citizens in it and decided to throw a pumpkin bomb at these random businessmen, which literally disintegrated them from their skeletons. And I was just standing there after the scene, like. Why? Right? What did those businessmen do to get targeted like that? So I'm not a target like that. Man was just killing anyone because he wanted to. I respect it. His switch ups were always so insane, too. Like when he searched him in No Way Home, I was shocked as hell. I expected it to happen, but that didn't stop my jaw from dropping the moment he did it. Green Goblin isn't given enough credit either for how much he manipulates people. In No Way Home, this man convinced all the villains after chilling at Spider Man's house for a day, eating his food, drinking his water, staring at Aunt May's fine ass, and them actively wanting mm. to be cured of their evilness mm -hmm. just for Green Goblin to open his mouth for five minutes and they're like, you know what? I think it's time 
time to dip. Like, I don't know what happened between the five minutes of him talking and him not. But all of a sudden, everyone decided it was just a good time to stay evil and dip. Like, bro, y'all niggas are gullible as hell. Now, the next op I want to move on to is Mr. Crocker, aka how every moderator at Twitch HQ looks like. This man, Mr. Crocker, really dedicated his entire life to catching beings that he didn't even know were real or not. I mean, granted, he was right, but still. Even if I knew something like aliens existed and I kept chasing it but couldn't find proof, I'm giving up personally because I'm just too lazy to figure it out. I'll leave it up to the conspiracy theorists on TikTok. I mean, it had to get annoying at some point for this man, Mr. Crocker. He was in his 40s worrying about a 10 year old kid with a pink hat. I mean, Timmy already had his own struggles. First off, he was ugly as shit. Second off, Timmy already had to worry about his horrible parents. Third off, you had Vicky trying to literally kill him in his own head. Man, Vicky. Man. <laughs> Hey man, Vicky, bro. Vicky, man, she she can get it, man. She, I don't care, bro. How old is she? How old Vicky is, man? Let me let, let me do some research, bro. How how old? Vicky, Vicky is Timmy's rules of his sixteen years old. Me personally, hear me out. All right, hear me out. I was talking about whenever I was younger. I, when I was younger, I had a crush on her. Not now. I'm like I'm, you know, not now. Not now. I, I'm gonna just house and now you add on top of that mr crocker's demented ass trying to hunt the only people that give him happiness in the universe and why was it normalized for this man to have seizures in any environment of the show saying fairy godparents while spasming in every which way which has never been seen the mental hospital should have been took this man in which is why i don't really blame timmy for acting the way he did all the time everyone likes to say he's selfish or selfless but look at the people trying to ruin his life even his parents don't like him so don't be surprised in the future when he wishes for world domination now the next hop we've got on this list is madara now look okay naruto was never my favorite mm. anime I may have even called it mid a couple times, and we're not even gonna talk about whatever the hell is going on with Boruto. Bro has the CapCut logo tattooed on him. But I've got to give props due where it's due. This man, Madara, was a beast. He was an op of the entire world, like literally no one liked him. Then he said, okay, y'all don't like me? Take me on 100,000 v1. Which he still managed to beat the brakes out of every person one by one. The whole crowd just started flying out like 4th of July fireworks. I mean, he seriously was him. He was that guy. He also managed to gain every one of his strongest abilities back in some way. But look, I don't want to talk about Madara too much because everyone knows his top op behavior. Let's get to the real top off of human fiction. He goes by a couple of names. Off Gideon from The Mandalorian, Dan Edgar from The Boys, but let's be real. Everyone knows this man as Gus Fring from Breaking Bad. Gus Fring is the smoothest and cleanest man that has ever walked this earth. I know I say this a lot, but this man had everyone fooled in the show. What type of guy do you know that runs a multi-fast food restaurant chain in the daytime and a multi-billion dollar meth company at night while still managing to be dripped out in the finest pantaloons at all times? Mm. No one, you can't think of anyone. It was really just the way he dealt with people that got to me in the show. Like when he planned to kill his op and had a call with him right before it happened and as he sends people to murder his op he just sits on the phone waiting to them just having some playful talk and he knows what's about to happen and then while the other guy's getting murdered on the phone he just sits there like you know what i'm saying that's tough you know what i'm saying i ain't saying nothing then this absolute mad lad just breaks the phone and walks back to his job like nothing happened also i'll never forget when this man ingested poison drinks just to get his revenge on don Alato. he got his get back by all means he had to so i respect it man was like i'll either get my get back or i'll die then the other time when someone just started sniping the head of gus's men like it's call of duty so gus was like all right then try that same thing with me mofo walks out with his arms fully extended while this man is just sniping at him and really? dude was like you know what i can't f with this man he's too crazy i'm out of here that's why he's the goat the goat he was just such an intimidating presence mm, whenever he okay. was on Screen. It's like the same thing with Homelander. You don't know when they're gonna snap. And that's what makes them scary. Everyone knows the quietest and calmest people have the worst snaps ever. So overall, those are my top ops in fiction so far. I really could have just named this villains, but that's kind of too boring. Here are some honorable mentions though. Eve from Adam and Eve. <laughs> Is she really the op though? Is she really the op? I don't think she's the op, man. I think uh, that, that, that serpent was the op. More importantly, uh, I think Adam... He um he just got seducted honestly nothing happened ate she ate the apple but whenever he ate the apple then that's when everything changed that's whenever things changed she can eat the apple but he can't shawty should have never ate the apple michelle obama you know what you did and lastly caillou oh my gosh bro michelle obama what's up with you that was like the room like my middle school like lunch bro all them nasty behind wheat 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 i don't know Nasty nigga. I don't know. I just want to smack his ball. But you guys already know what to do. Follow my Instagram and TikTok. As always, I love you guys consensually. And until next. Hey man, y'all check them out, man. Y'all check them out. Tommy NFG link will be in the description. Ha! <sighs> I see y'all in the next video.